In this video, we shall continue with implicit differentiation. Kindly follow this channel for more updates. Imagine you are asked, you are given this question 5x squared minus 4y squared equal to 9. And you are asked to find the square y dx square when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. To solve this, we shall multiply both sides by ddx. Therefore, ddx 5x squared minus 4y squared is equal to d9. So if I open the bracket with ddx, I'll be having 5dx squared dx minus 4dy dx is equal to d9 dx. If I differentiate x squared, I'll have 10 x minus. If I differentiate this, I'll be having 8 y dy dx is equal to 0. Differentiation of a constant is 0. To make the y dx the subject formula, then we have to take 10x across the sign of equality. There is minus 8y dy dx is equal to minus 10x. And dy dx, dividing by the coefficient of dy dx, will have it to be minus 10x divided by minus 8y and this is equal to dy dx is equal to 5x divided by 4y but remember we were asked to find the square y dx square to differentiate this further we have to use the quotient rule and we all know that the quotient rule formula is the y dx is v du dx minus u dv dx divided by v square at this point we can assume u to be equal to 5x and du dx is equal to 5 and let v be equal to 4y and dv dx is equal to 4 dy dx Therefore, substituting this into this equation, we can say that the square y dx square is equal to u v is 4y dot du dx is 5 minus u is 5x dv dx is 4 dy dx divided by v squared and v is 4y which is four y or square to simplify this further and this is equal to four y multiplied by five will be twenty y minus five x multiplied by four will be twenty 
x dy dx divided by 4y all squared will be 16y squared. We can decide to simplify for that. This is equal to 20y divided by 16y squared minus 20x dy dx divided by 16y squared. And this will be equal to 4 can divide. I have 5 divided by 4y minus 5x divided by 4y squared dy dx. Remember that our dy dx is equal to 5x divided by 4y. So if I substitute this in this expression, I will be having the square y dx squared is equal to 5 divided by 4y minus 5x divided by 4y squared multiplied by 5x divided by 4y and this will be equal to 5 divided by 4y minus 5 5x multiplied by 5x will give me 25x squared and 4y squared multiplied by 4y will be 16 y cube but don't forget we were asked to find the square y the x square when x x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 so if we decide to substitute here we'll be having the y the square y the x square is equal to 5 divided by 4 multiplied by 3 minus 25 2 square divided by 16 3 cube and this is equal to 5 divided by 4 times 3 will be 12 minus 25 2 square is 4 divided by 16 3 cube is 27 and this is equal to 5 divided by 12 minus 25 multiplied by 4 is 100 and 16 multiplied by 27 is 432 at this point we have to simplify further and we need to find the LCM of 12 and 432 that is a number both 12 and 432 can divide with our remainder I think it's 432 If 12 divide this, it will be 36, and 36 multiplied by 5 will be 180. Then minus 432 divided by 432 will be 1. 1 multiplied by 100 is 100. And this is equal to 180 minus 100. Will be 80 divided by 432 and this will be equal to let's simplify further again 4 can divide 80 to be 20 and 4 can divide 432 divided by 
4 divided by 43, that is 10, 10, 10 remainder 3, then add 3 to this, which is 32, divide by 4, is, that is 108, and we can simplify further again, I think 4 can divide, 4 divide 20 is 5, and 4 can divide 10, 44 divided 10 and a half, 2 remainder. Remainder 2. Add 2 to this, that is 28. 28 divided by 4 will be 7. And we can say that the square y, the x square, is equal to 5 divided by 27. And this is our final answer. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions, science e-learning academy at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well. Thank you.